All right. This is going to be a very important topic. I want to very, uh, I just want to really, really share uh, my thoughts on this. And a lot of people are hopping into this industry like they're going to make a lot of money or millions of dollars. And I, I just want to be honest, like, it doesn't happen like that overnight. And so I want to run through this real quick because a lot of a lot of people that come into this industry for forex or crypto, they get all hyped up. They see the money, and the number one thing is that they don't understand is that there's no discipline when they come in. There's no positive habits and positive winning attitude behind that. Uh, the mindset needs to be there. I talk a lot about that in my video, and. A lot of people just hop in because somebody's making millions of dollars or thousands of dollars, but yet, but yet they can't do it for themselves. So they, they hop into this industry because they think it's a life changing experience. Can't be a life changing experience if you're not willing to change it for yourself in a positive way. And so, and there's another topic I want to talk about too. And but I want to hop into this real quick because a lot of people would just jump into the forex industry thinking that, oh yeah, you know, I saw this guy, he made so much money, I'm gonna get into it. Like it doesn't even matter if that person is making a lot of money or not. Because the real question is, if that person, it don't matter if that person is making a thousand dollars a month, it don't matter if that person is making a hundred thousand dollars a month trade. No matter. Because that money's not your money anyways. That money, you know, that money is theirs. And so it doesn't matter how much that person is making because you're not making that kind of money. And so you need to like really grasp down like, okay, if you're working a full-time job or a part-time job and you're making, you know, 500 a month, a thousand a month, 1500 a month, 2000 a month. Now you, now you can figure out, okay, how much I really need to make trade on a daily basis. But my, what, what, what would be my daily income? What, what is your daily paycheck at your job? What is the amount of income that you're actually making right now? And if you want to leave your job, how much do you really need to make? That's what it comes down to right away. It's not because somebody's making 10000 a day, making 20000 a day, making 30000 a day, making $50,000 a day trading. No. That can come later. Some of you get this false, mo false motivation, and you're like, oh, man, this guy motivated me so much about trading. I'm just going to go ahead and make it all I got. I would not pull the rent money. I would not pull your car payment money. I would not pull any of your expense money just to make it big. Everybody wants to make it big, but everybody has a different financial goal and a different financial plan on what they want to do when it comes to this industry. And I can't stress that enough for those that are brand new coming in and you know where they're watching my videos or some top professional video trader videos that so this guy's claiming he's driving a ferrari he's driving a lamborghini and all of a sudden he's making all this money he's flashing all these materialistic things out there and you want to get in because that person is making the, the you know the right moves all the time and, and they got all these correct entry points and they're making all this money and and you know the, the biggest the biggest thing is that you know when we see people like that are making this kind of money right and you're wondering to yourself, like, man, how can I make this kind of money? Or like, what is it that they're doing to make this kind of money, right? The what's in the house, right? But the number one thing that you really need to find is why you're gonna do for it, or why you're gonna really gonna get into and do crypto. And it don't, it don't matter what business it is. If you cannot find out why you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do, you're never gonna know the how to and the and, and the what to. Uh, very good video to watch is Simon Sinek, and he talks about the why is so much more important than the how and the what. Because if we don't have a burning a burning desire or a burning sensation of what we really want to do for the rest of our lives and have that sole purpose and that mission and to carry out every single day. If we're just doing it for the money, you're just chasing the money. Like you can chase money all day long. Whether you're making it, spending it, I don't care if you don't save the money, all right? So it don't matter. And it, that, that comes down to 
every single decision that you make in your life, we have good opportunities in life, we have bad opportunities in life, and we make mistakes, right? We, I make mistakes. And so this video just isn't, you know, just isn't for me, but it's for everyone out there that wanted to pursue this industry. And now they're being a part of the industry, but then they're not seeing, you know, how the reality, right? We're not, how, how are you, like, people don't get to see the true side of what happens trading, trading Forex. That's what I really want to dive into because some people come in here with the wrong, wrong, the really wrong reasons for trading. And some people just come in here and they think that they're going to, like, just blow it up and just make it so, make so much money. And the next thing you know, they're just blowing accounts back and forth. And I've blown so many accounts last year and I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know, and I learned from my mistakes in the past, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't mean like, Oh yeah, oh, I learned my mistakes now. So I'm going to become a lot better now because of my mistakes. You have to keep learning. It doesn't matter what indicators you're using right now. Like my, my main purpose is to go naked for extreme by the end of this year. That's why I'm showing strictly no indicators whatsoever on my charts right now for YouTube and for the guys that are in my services because the top professionals only use indicators. If you are still using indicators, that means you're relying on something. You're really relying on, on the indicator for something. And so Maybe it could be because you're not familiar with price action, maybe because you're not familiar with candlestick patterns, or maybe you're not familiar with what's going on with the trend. And so, I mean, that's a whole different subject to talk about. I want to really want to dive into, like, people getting in, into the Forex trading industry for the wrong reasons because you can't just hop in because somebody's making a shit ton of money. I'm just, I'm just being flat honest. You just can't. You really have to, like, like I spent eight to 12 hours a day staring at the charts and I still do it. I mean, it's not, the, it's not the, it's not the proper way of doing trading because really the Forex lifestyle is to only trade maybe two to four hours a day at, at the most with using standard lots so that you can make your income. You can make a full time income trading part time. That's the, that's, that's the real beauty of, of Forex trading, where you can just dive in, right? Trade standard lots for two to four hours and you make your money. You'll make your income for the day. And then the income becomes your yearly salary. That's what it needs to be. So that you can so that you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to pay my bills because I didn't make that kind of money. No, you can't. And so, but that's like a next level of you know trading from micro lots to mini lots and then to standards. No, the the false motivation and, and, and all this you know uh, of where this industry is going I mean it's it's just completely going to keep growing no matter what, it, what, what what Forex is doing because crypto is already being tagged on to the Forex industry and you have to understand that sometimes you just got to do your research on who, who exactly you want to you wanna look into. It doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody else, right? <clears throat> like for me, if I'm following somebody, like that person's got to be, you know, I mean, professional at all times, but also, you know, at least, you know, legitimate to follow and that that person should know exactly what they're talking about, right? And... If they do know what they're talking about, then that obviously, you know, they're making some kind of income, right? Not just, I'm not talking about money, income. The reason why I talk about income is because, because some people just, just hop in and trying to, and trying to flip an account or do high risk trading and they don't understand what the risk is involved with, with, with being a high risk aggressive trader right away. And I'm talking about income because most most of us want to make income so that we can leave our job so we can just trade forex right and that's what we want to do that that would that should be everybody's everybody's goal if that's what they want to do in forex now some people just might just want to get in 
build a retirement account, build that account so big that they can just retire and just live off that account. That could be somebody else. What I want to talk to you about is for the people that actually, you know, want to make a full time income, right? And they want to trade part time because they don't, because most of us have families, right? Most of us are married. Most of us have people that we need to, that are really dependent on us for income. And that's really important because, because if, if you're, uh, if you're like, I guess a bachelor or a bachelorette and you're a single, if you live in the single life and you're, and you're a day trader, obviously you don't really have, you know, you don't really have the, those responsibilities of paying those bills, right? Because you want to live a higher lifestyle, having a nicer things, right? Nicer car, nicer place, eat nice food. I mean, whatever, right? Whatever it is, right? You're spending more, and so you. That's that's a whole different. That's a whole different, different uh, approach and a whole different, different way of looking at a different lifestyle. You can't compare the lifestyle from being married and not married. But for me, you know, it's it's, it's totally different for me. I'm not a single guy. You guys know that. I I got two kids. You know, I have had a wife. You know, and so I gotta do what I got. I gotta do whatever I can, right, to to put this money down, right. And so that's that's the biggest thing, right. You gotta have financial goal, especially when you're coming into this industry. You gotta have the mindset, and you gotta really like build your attitude towards the markets. And you gotta be willing to adapt and change. And sometimes, if you're following, you're following these types of traders. They're just on Instagram. I don't care what social media they're on. And they're just constantly just posting all this kind of profits that they're making. I mean, some are legitimate. Some probably are not. And, you know, if someone's really making that kind of money, right? Let's, let's talk about this money part. If someone's really making this kind of money, if they're really making this kind of money, they should probably, right? They should be able to trade someone else's account and flip that account. And that's coming from, and that's really coming from me. You know, there's a reason why I opened the trade copier. And that's really testing my abilities and my skill sets. I didn't really want to because that's not what I attended. That's not what my attentions were anyways. You know, but the, the beauty of, you know, if somebody were, if they were really making that kind of money of trading and they could help hundreds of people, right? Or thousands of people that don't have the time to trade and do the trade copier. And they're actually making, you know, a hundred thousand a month or 50,000 a month, but they can somehow give you, you know, they can somehow trade your account. You can make, you know, either, either the same or, or less. That'd be awesome, right? That would totally be awesome. And so I really do see the benefit of the trade cap here. And I'm still learning a lot about this whole trade cap here process. And so it's been a, a real struggle. It's been not the best event so far. I'll just be flat out honest. And I mean, things have just gone up and down. This is by far one of the worst months of trade for me. I'll just be flat out honest on that part. And so by far the summer is the driest months for trading. You have to be, you have to be prepared for that uh, unexpected events, political events. But let's hop back into, you know, you know, people that are making this kind of money, right? If, if someone's making that kind of money, if they can help other people make that kind of money. I'm not talking about setting up a course. Screw the course. <clears throat> I don't care what course what course someone gives you. I'm just be flat out honest about this. I don't care what course it's um don't matter if there are the the I don't matter if it's from George Soros George Soros. Does not matter. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> this is why this I'm gonna be flat out honest. It doesn't matter what, what course it is. The course it don't matter if it's an advanced, intermediate, or beginners, whatever. Don't matter if it, 
no matter how 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 the course is because we can only take in so much information from learning from the course and so even then, and if they give you a course that's not recorded on, a, on an actual webinar and and it's not um, updated daily then you're losing out on the information because Forbes is changing every day. This year from last year, you have, from, from last year was, wasn't that bad. This year is, is totally different. You got Donald Trump and the whole tariffs coming in since April. And the dollar has been pushing up. And then now we're coming into the fall season. And so, and we're coming to, and the month of August is coming up. So. We got a new monthly candle coming up this week, and it's now from payroll, but we still have the trade war going on. We have unexpected political events that are driving out through the foreign exchange markets every single day. And so that's why I'm more fundamental than more fundamental in economics and political events than looking at charts. So you have to understand that you know every year things are gonna change. You have to catch that pattern, that drift. So everything's are starting to shift. And that's that that basic course or whatever the course that person gives you, it, it's 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 up to you whether you grasp the information. And that's coming that's coming from me. Like don't matter if, if you get don't even matter if you even get my my course. I'm just being fine honest because it, like my my new book and my new webinar video and plus and plus having a personal session with me i would say the most important thing is having a personal session with with the trader because you actually get to dive in and you meet them on the video conference and you can actually dive in and ask specific questions and figure out exactly you know how that how how that person is actually trading and what what are they seeing now from back then what are what are some things are they they shifting into and where it could be like a different trading analysis or different trading tools and resources and that's very important because you can't you can't go off one course and it doesn't matter how many courses you buy because you're, you're going to be back to square one and you're not learning anything from these courses you're gonna have to dive down and figure this out for yourself eventually and so it's very very crucial to to understand that if you get into the game of trading forex that you have to really really educate yourself on a daily basis because eventually you cannot rely on people forever unless like i said unless you really want to pay for the trade copier and then and then Really, I, and then put with the risk settings on and then see if that person is really going to make you that type of money, right? If that person is really making a fortune, right? If that person is really making 10000 a month, right? If that person is really making 50000 a month, ask them if they really put themselves on the trade cap here. That's the, uh, that's the one way of testing, testing uh, their skill sets and abilities. And... Like I said, you, it, it's all fine and dandy to look at snapshots. But eventually, like, I don't care what car they're driving. I don't care what house they live in. I really don't care. Show me the bank statements. That's it. If you can show me a bank statement that you're actually making this kind of money from trading, that's it. Or log in and show me the withdrawal history, that's it. That's, that's proof to me. Because... Because we're we, because not just for myself, but we we are looking at every single trader right now, and can we identify who's actually really making this kind of money? I don't care about my effects book. I really don't care about the my effects book. Everybody's talking about my effects book. I don't care about that. That don't really do anything, anyways. You can fake a my you can fake a my effects book account, and so I don't believe any of that. No, the real like I said. The real is is bank statements. That's the realest things. And so, well, I mean, 
back to you know the re the reality of trading you really have to grasp the amount of hours in trading you have to you know you really have to dive down and figure within yourself okay do can i really focus you know four to six hours staring at the charts so i can learn something from staring at the charts if you're not willing to then what are you exactly getting into the forex industry for anyways just because somebody's flashing their car from and saying that they, this is trading money income that they're making and then they bought their car from trading forex might have to do a little bit more research on that i don't flash cars i don't flash mansions i don't flash any of that stuff no i mean what i what, what i'm flashing is just my office and the shirt that i'm wearing here that's it that's it i don't flash no fancy stuff Fancy stuff can go can only go so far in, 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 in life and in the purpose of what you're carrying out through through your mission for for your for the leadership that you have and for the lifestyle that you really want to show to people. I'm being flat out honest. And so if there's so much more than just flashing material things on social media to other people. Because that really doesn't drive the leadership. And I don't want to talk too much about leadership or personal development because we all need it. I do it every single morning as much as I can. To be able to be to not just be educated, but to be, you know, humble, to learn uh, gratitude a little bit more, right? Because you have to understand gratitude. And you know, to be appreciative for the things that you have right now because there's more things to come and that you're willing to support one another and that you're willing to dive down and say, you know what, I want to make a positive difference instead of a negative difference. And so that's like, that's like, you know, we, I can talk all day about, you know, personal development leadership and not just talk about, you know, Forex making money, you know, or, you know, showing all these materialistic things and, it's things are starting to change in the industry and you know from from what i've seen from what i've seen last year until now there's so much more you know there's so much more traders now than than from what i've seen from last year and now it's, it's crazy there's more traders i mean from what i've seen on my on my social media is all about trading or or crypto and it's cool that you know the community is expanding and you have to understand you know the more it expands you have to understand there's gonna be more negativity along the way and you have to face the challenges and you have to face the market challenges too personal challenges and the markets anticipation so a lot of things and you know, back to, like I said, back to, back to this whole trading, you have to like, you know, you really have to dive down and really do it for yourself. And you know, like I said, it don't matter what the, what the trader is doing. I mean, what, what, um, what I'm doing, whatever the professional trader is doing, because ultimately, you are the one that are in control of your live account and you are in control of your own actions towards of buying and selling in the markets and where you're going to take profit or take losses. That's what it comes down to. And so very, very important, you know, it's very, very important. And I mean, it's, it's such, it's so, it's so much to talk about, but like I said, it's, I just want to make this brief because it has come to my attention so much already. And I just want to, I just want to, you know, say it, say it out. And so I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying it's out just to like blast somebody. I'm not blasting nobody. I'm not putting names out there, you know? And so this is very important, you know, very important topic because how many, how many, how many people actually, you know, are, are hopping in because of what they, of what they're seeing, 
you know, or, or, or for somebody that, that they're following. And so it's, it's, it's tough, right? It is really, really tough to dive down and say, you know what, I'm going to follow this person all the way because of what this person's doing, you know, and, you know, test that person's, um, test, test the person's character, test, test how, if they are a flaw, that's the, that's the honest way. I mean, that's the most easiest way, you know, are they a flaw? Are they, how, how is their character? You know, do they really carry themselves to that kind of standard or do they not care? You know? And so it's, it's like, I'm, I'm hopping in on different subjects, you know, forex industry, you know, about people, you know, about what exactly you really want out of this. If you actually are coming into this, I mean, it's different things. And so I'm just trying to tie it all in one, in one quick video here. And so, I mean, maybe later on I could probably hop into like different topics and, and then, and then dive down a little bit deeper and talk like specific what this topic is instead of just hopping in from different subjects to this to from this subject to the next subject and so like i said i hope this video makes sense and that i'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings but i mean we have to understand the reality of what's coming into this industry and that if you really really want to succeed in the industry and you really have to put in the hours the effort the timing and everything else into it and the knowledge is there, but you have to gain your own experience. There's, it doesn't matter what, what information is given to you. You have to put in the work of trading your own trades, putting in your own lots, and where you take, but where you make money or you take losses. You learn more from losing than you learn more from winning. I mean, that's the most, that's the most easiest way. You learn more from losing than you learn more from winning. I mean, that goes in, in business, personal life, anything. And so, and, and like I said, I mean, that's, that's, there's so much to, to just hop in in the industry. So, but like I said, I mean, make this quick and I'm going to post this up. And like I said, you can comment whatever you think, what you saw, I mean, what you yeah, what you saw in this video. And so, I mean, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that's been a part of, you know, uh, my channel and who've been following me. And I've been wanting to, you know, make make it more meaningful and much more enjoyable. And I do want to get back into live streaming and show live trading again. And this, this is just, you know, I mean, we're coming to the end of the month here, but I mean, this is just, this is just you know one of one one of an important video to understand that what what you're doing if you do plan on getting into the industry and that you're just not just hopping in because you just want to hop in for the ride. You know, you gotta you gotta you gotta really dive down for your goals, finance finan finances, your finances first. And you know, can you really trade if you really do want to trade, you know? And so so that's what it really comes down to, you know, and I'll just leave it at that.